Would you support abortion? Uh, I support the scripture. And so when God ignites life, it is the thing that only God can do. And the breath of life only God can give. And so no one, whether they are in the womb or out, uh, whether they have a knee on someone's neck or a gun in their back, or whether they are in the operating room, or whether they are in the prison ward, no one has the right to take life. That's according to scripture. And so do you personally support abortion? No, I don't. You do just you, is it, you just asked me that another way, I think. Is it evil? Abortion evil? I wouldn't say that abortion is evil for the person who's doing it. I don't think people do it to be evil. Why so, do they kill the children I think that if it's not intentional? Is it out of love that they kill the children in the womb? And then see, that is uh, pretty close to what women feel at the moment. Uh, People would make decisions in the moment, like Adam and Eve, in that moment. It could be right or wrong. Uh, But I'm not going to rush to take that right and privilege uh, of choice from the person who is carrying the the fetus. Uh, Would a woman who who has been born again of God, would she ever kill a child in the womb? You, are you asking me, is, is that possible? Right. Oh, well, things are possible. So it's possible for a woman to be of God, be born again of God, and still kill the child in the womb? That might happen. Well, how, how can that happen if, if she's of God? Well, it can happen a lot of ways. You know, people in the moment, people commit suicide. Many of them who... But they're like not they, of God, though. Know. Those people are not of God. Satan is their daddy. Mm, I'm not going to say that. Why? How I'm, can a person of God want to take their own life? They have peace. Why would they want to kill themselves? Right. I wouldn't understand that. But if they were not in their right mind, I don't know. But can you be if of God and not be in your right mind? Well, I think people do have challenges. They get stressed out and they get toppled over by life. And But I don't know the answer to that question. I think that anyone can make a mistake and anyone can do the right thing. Do you support homosexuality, same-sex marriage and all that, LBSGBQ and all that? Do, is that? do you support all that? Well, I support the fact that people are trying to find themselves in many ways. They could be right about something. They could be wrong about something. The the Holy Scripture teaches us to love people uh, and to support people. And if you don't love people, even if they are wrong about those things, they will never have a hand to guide them into a a brighter day and a bigger picture. uh, So is 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 homosexuality, LSGBTQ, so-called same-sex marriage, is that right or wrong? Um, The way we escape what is wrong is we apply it to the Holy Scriptures. And those of us who are weak must start to bear the infirmity or those of us who are strong must bear the infirmity of the weak. Uh, the, the letter to the Galatians says uh, that those of you who are strong bear the infirmity of the weak. So I don't, I'm not critical of people where they find themselves because I believe that there are better opportunities, better days, and that right. we all get better. You uh, and get I think better. if the Christian church cares, and if people who say they care, if we can find a way uh, to love each other, we'll find a way to a better world. And so is homosexuality, LGBTQ, uh, so-called same, so called same sex marriage, is that right or is it wrong? Well, it's not, it's not affirmed by the scripture. So and is it right the, or is it wrong? The scripture does not uh, affirm it. 
And so does, is that right or wrong? It's, well, I will just say that it's, it's not right in the scripture. And because the scripture talks against it. So, so as a pastor, do you say that it's right or wrong? Since you said what the scripture said about it, as a pastor, <laughs> do you see it as right or wrong? Well, I just preach the scripture and I just simply say, this is what the scripture says about it. And I just, as I just mentioned, I preach the scripture because I believe the scripture. And I believe that people can get better. Uh, whatever is, uh, is not the best them. And so you believe that they can overcome homosexuality, lesbian, and LGBTQ and all that. They can overcome that. I think people can any, overcome any malfunction in their attitude, their behavior. And we see that in medical science where, where people are able to be uh, come in the world as Siamese twin and then through surgery are able, some of them, to be separated and live full lives uh, individually. So... I do believe things are possible. Now well, that's where I am on that. Right. So you, I agree with you that they can overcome homosexuality, lesbian, and uh, LGBTQ and all that. I agree they can't overcome it. You are saying that, right? Yes, I am saying that. Okay. 